Hey there, I'm Steve, and welcome to Jamson Entertainment, and welcome to the conversation. Just before I get started, there are many ways you can help. You can like and subscribe so you never miss a conversation, but most importantly, please share this video. Get the word out there as a community, we can talk about all the things that we love. Today on Thursday is not quite a throwback, even though my definition of throwback Thursday is really, really loose. This is actually a prep work review, one I haven't done in a while, Venom. I haven't seen Venom, I, I wasn't really interested in it. I didn't hear that great of things about it, and I see what people are talking about, and because of that... Spoiler alert! You've been warned. Because there are key issues I want to... I guess I could talk about them without spoilers, but just to be on the safe side, and because I kind of made my Bond review a spoiler review unintentionally, on to Venom. Starts out with a trip to space. These astronauts have connected a whole bunch of symbiotes, like four of them. No, three of them. There are four of them. One of them escapes, and it makes its way from Malaysia, where the space shuttle crashes, and it makes its all the way to San Francisco where Eddie Brock lives and this is where my first problem with the movie comes from well two problems Eddie Brock himself and the fact that they don't use any social media in 2017 2018 whenever this movie came out zero social media is that are you kidding me Eddie Brock is an investigative reporter for some news outlet and he's also quite the loser you don't really root for this guy throughout the entire movie and he really doesn't have a character arc in the beginning of the movie he's engaged to Anne, and they, they seem to love each other, but he really wants to investigate the bad guy in this movie. Unfortunately, he escapes me, but I'll call him the pilot. <laughs> I believe the actor's name is Ram Ahmed. He does a great job of being the villain, but he's, I don't know, he's not that great of a villain, though. It's just the actor's really good. So, Ahmed's character is this tech guy, billionaire. I'm not sure if he's actually a scientist. He's probably like the billionaires we have, besides Elon Musk, where they just put Put a lot of money into what they want to do and since these symbiotes have come to earth he wants to merge them with human hosts and they keep on failing at that and don't know why until one of his scientists and here's another problem with the movie okay i'm getting a little ahead of myself eddie brock goes to interview the bad guy because his job tells him to because he just launched a rocket and stuff like that but eddie because he's an investigative journalist wants to dig deeper and he tries to integrate that into the interview and then make that only the interview because this guy is really dirty and the guy is not having it has his security escort Eddie out of the building so with just the bad guy and his group of scientists they go through all these trials and Dr. Dora Skirth I'm pretty sure the character's name is doesn't like the fact that they moved on to human subjects mostly because the human subjects keep on dying she gets Eddie to come into the building and do what he does investigative journalism but it's illegal because she sneaks him in. Now, the bad guy interrogates his scientist to find out who came into the lab. Where are the security cameras? <laughs> Another big problem with the movie. Because later on, they do show a security camera footage of, like, the final battle. There is a final battle. It's pretty cool. But, okay, there's a fourth thing that doesn't make any sense. But I'll get to that. But where are the security cameras? He should have never, ever had to interview her. I mean... <sighs> He interviews her in a room where there's another symbiote, which this movie is very predictable. Very predictable. I knew it was coming as soon as they were talking to each other and he was giving her space. He wasn't trying to be that intimidating. It was just so obvious. So, like I was mentioning, social media, it's non-existent in this world for some reason, even though it's supposedly supposed to be part of the MCU. One of my friends who hopefully I'm seeing it with on Friday, he says that movie is supposed to tie it into the MCU. If it's supposed to tie it into the MCU, there is social media. So the fact that he couldn't continue his career as an investigative journalist through social media, which a lot of investigative journalists in the real world do, is bogus. He should have been fine. But no, he has this apartment that I still don't think he could have afforded because he doesn't have a job. They show him looking for jobs. And he's just this loser throughout the entire job. The only thing that makes him 
exceptional is that Venom wants him to be his host. That's it. The thing about Venom, towards the end of the movie, they Eddie's like, why'd you choose me? And, and why aren't you? Okay, Venom is a whole race of symbiotes. The symbiotes are led by another one named Riot. And the idea is to come to Earth and just eat everything and I guess leave to another planet. That's the symbiote that's traveling from Malaysia to San Francisco. It eventually takes the bad guy as the host. Originally, because Venom's part of this symbiote race, he was going to be part of the destruction of Earth. But somehow, Eddie changed him? Eddie hasn't really done much of anything. And he doesn't really have a character arc. He has Venom, and that somehow makes him different? I mean, yeah, it makes him different. Give him special ability, super strength. He can heal from grievous and mortal wounds, but it doesn't really change his character. So, with the fact that there's a fight between two symbiotes, Venom is telling Eddie about Riot and how Riot can do way more things than Venom. That doesn't make any sense. All it's doing is creating shapes out of its form. we already seen that Venom can do that. They're not nearly as complex as what Riot can do, but there's no reason why Venom can't be more complex with, with what he makes out of his body. I don't get it. Those are my thoughts on Venom. There, It was enjoyable. There were some chuckles in there, but it was too predictable. You had a character you didn't really root for. You only kind of rooted for them because there was no one else to root for. The world makes no sense. If it's set in today's time, there should have been social media. There should have been security cameras. It didn't do a good world building job. Maybe Venom Let There Be Carnage will do a better job of that. We'll see. If you have seen Venom, let me know in the comments below your thoughts. If you like what you saw, like it. If you think other people like it, share it. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and live your imagination.